Welcome. Today I'm going to be opening up my crock that I am fermenting some turnips. So I'm going to be opening that up. I have not looked at it in seven days. So it's been seven days. So I'm just going to pull it over here and check it out. The water is gone. Smells good, but it smells fermented. I have a couple jars here. I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting it into jars if I can get it out of there. You guys can see. Looks good. Looks okay. It's kind of a nice pink, pinkish color. And seven days is enough for it to ferment. You could still get, you know, some of the qualities from fermentation uh, in your diet. So I'm going to now store it in jars and then put it in the fridge. And I can start putting this on top of my salads. I can put this on sandwiches. I'm allergic to, to um, cabbage. So I wanted to try the turnip instead and see how it goes uh, because you know i want something that's fermented in my diet and i thought this would be a good choice so that's why i did this i got this little crock from amazon online on amazon and uh, this is the first time that i've used it and i'm I'm surprised that it, it turned out just fine. I mean, I could probably let it go another, you know, few days if I want to, but I just didn't want it to get moldy. I didn't want it to uh, lose anything. And it's my first time, so I'm kind of excited about it. And I wanted to try it out. I wanted to see how it was doing, so. Uh, I had to put water to keep it sealed almost every day. The water would just kind of evaporate around the seam here. So I would put fresh water on it daily. And that really kind of just kept it, uh, you know, all sealed up. So worked out wonderfully. I will for sure do this again. Next time I may do it with some little bit of a mixture. Maybe a little turnip and carrot and um, some other vegetables. So, still getting this out. Now the juice, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pour a little juice in each one. There we go. It's kind of, yeah, I think I got it pretty much all out. So it was enough for two, two jars. There's a little bit more in there. There we go. All right, that's awesome. So I'll find some lids for these and some seals, some rings, and then I'll rinse this and start washing this out. But I am so excited that it worked for me. It worked out. And I will for sure try other, other things that I can ferment. And let's just taste it. Hmm. Pretty good. Almost tastes like, um, excuse me. It doesn't taste like turnip so much. It almost tastes like cabbage. So it's very similar. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lids on these, go ahead and put these in the fridge. They'll be much better when they're cold and, um, and clean up a little bit. So thanks so much for watching my video. I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye now.